Hey guys, what's up? This is Castro5661 and I'm coming to you today with another app review. This will be my third app review and it's going to be on MLB.com, the app at 2009. Now this is $9.99 in the app store still, even though half the season's already almost gone. But I'm still going to review it for you guys who are thinking about getting it late, who didn't get it. Like I got it at the beginning of the season before, it, before the season started. But for those of you who are on the edge about getting it, this is for you guys. Also, before I get into that, let me get a shout out to Mr. iTouch Reviewer. He does um, app reviews. He got in touch with me. And um, he does app reviews. Um, this is his latest one. Flight control. He's thinking about having some giveaways that he was talking to me about. He has quite a few videos up, so you guys should check them out. I recommend you do. Alright, now let's get back to the review. Let's just open it up. Alright, when you open it up, it's going to take you to the home screen. Today is Saturday, June 13th, and these are today's games. Look up here, you see that star next to the Angels? That's because I chose them as my favorite team, and I'll get into how you can choose them as your favorite team. Now, it shows all the recent games, and when you click on one, as you see at the bottom, when the game's over, it'll show you the winning pitcher, the losing pitcher, and if there's a save... Let me see if there's one. Like right there, save. It'll show you who, the save. And it also has a picture of who won. And when the game's going on, it'll show you who's batting and who's pitching right now. And it'll show you the bases. And it'll show you who's, not who's on base, but it'll show you which bases are filled. Like if somebody is on base. Now here we go to the extras. And we have MLB.com video. This is, just M this is straight from MLB.com. Mobile minutes, these are stuff you won't find in the highlights on this app. Now, here you got standings. You have your AL standings right here. You go look through them. Now, you go up, and if you want to change to the NL, your NL stands, standings are right here, too. You got AL wildcard and NL wildcard. Tips and support, it just tells you some basic stuff. Well, this is how you can set your, you can actually set your favorite team. Um... Adjust the refresh rate. Not, you know, let me just show you guys how you can do that. See, I got settings already right here. You just open up your settings. You go to your MLBAtBat.com, and you could pick your favorite team right here. You just go down, you pick your favorite team. How frequently you want it to update. If you want it to fit to screen. If you want to auto lock and your time zone. I would recommend doing the time zone. I think it's set at Eastern time. So if you're on the on the West side, you might want to change that to Pacific Standard or wherever you're at. Now, here, let's say this is the Angels game, and you click audio. The game's over, but it, when you click that and there's a game on, you can listen to any game, guys. You could either listen to the home team or you can listen to the away team, either of their announcers, and it works pretty well. I do like this app. The thing I don't like, see, here you got game day when you go into the games. They don't update as frequently as you'd like. They're a little bit slow at updating this. So the best way to like find out what's going on with the game is to just listen to the game because they don't update this too frequently. They're usually an inning behind, sometimes a few innings behind at updating this. Same thing with field. It shows you who's on base, who's pitching, who's in the outfield, the dimensions, offense, defense. I think it's pretty cool. Look, who's on deck, who's in the hole. So that's pretty cool, the field. Once again, it doesn't update as frequently as you want it to, though. And right here, you have box scores. This is where I always check. It shows you all nine innings. Um, if they scored in the nine innings, hits, runs, errors. It shows you all the batters. Now, this is cool, too. If you click on one of the batters, it'll show you their player card. They're at bats for the career. They're at bats for the season, what they did today, and their fielding stats. So that's pretty cool. You could click on the players. You could see their career stats right here. It has their batting. Who's hit doubles, triples, home runs, touch bases, RBIs, who got two out RBIs, runners left in scoring position, etc. It's a lot to go over. Then you get you go down further and you got your pitching and what they did. Now if you want to change teams, you just click the other team at the top and you get a look at the other team. It's a really cool app. You see Saunders got the win today. All right. And you guys just set it to your favorite team like that was my favorite team. And right here... This is the summary. You can go through any inning. Let's go to the first inning, and you could see what happened. Tony Gwynn struck out, David Eckstein grounded out, etc. Now that's cool because you get to check if you missed a few innings. You could see what went on. And videos. This is my favorite part. 
you know, videos. It shows highlights. The highlights are usually a, like, they usually appear a little bit after, probably like an inning after. They're not immediate um, highlights. But sometimes they have blackout days and they don't show you highlights of the game till the end, end of the game. Which I don't like those days. It's usually Saturday. But let's just click on one so you guys can see. It takes you to the the iPod view. The I don't know what this is called. Media player. There we go. See, in this one, Torrey Hunter. Boom. Home run. Yeah, let's see how far he hits it. Zoom in. Oh my god, it's look, to the rock pile. Now that was actually his third home run of the game. And you can see all the other plays. If you like your team, you know, you just go click on one. It'll show you the things at the bottom and you can just hit the side button and check it out. For every game it has it. Now this is $9.99. I was hoping it would go down because, you know, half the season's already over. Maybe after the All-Star break it'll go down. Well, it's not half the season's over. Probably a little bit past three, one um, third of the season, but we're getting to that point. It should go down. Now, my um, rating of this app would probably be an 8 out of 10. Mm, I would say 9 or 10 out of 10, but it updates to, it doesn't have the best updates. Like, like I said, with the game day, I would like to see game day, because when you go to game day, oh, and when it's actually, um, when the game's on during game day, it's just like on MLB.com when you look at the game day, it shows you what pitch, it shows you pitch by pitch and who's batting pitching, which I like, but it updates way too slow. If you, if you put the audio on at the same time as that, you're going to be listening to something that's already happening, like that's happening right now, and this thing's still going to be stuck back on like, ooh, something way back then, probably an inning ago. So, I give it an 8 out of 10 because it does give you video highlights with the exception of the Saturday, some, sometimes on Saturdays. That's what I do love. I, I love watching video highlights. And if you're a baseball fan, you have to have this. It costs $10. You can maybe wait and see if they do lower it. I do not know, but it's worth the $10. I got it when it first came out. I've been using it almost every day to check the scores. You do need a Wi-Fi connection to it, of course, so you can get all the updates and everything, but I do recommend it. Alright, well, that's my video. That's my review on MLB at Bat 2009. I recommend it. 8 out of 10. Check out my other videos. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'd really like it if you guys give me some feedback on my videos. Tell me what I can do to improve. Rate them. Tell me if they're a good video. And be honest, guys. I don't mind if... Well... Please rate five stars, <laughs> but I don't mind if you give me a comment like you need to improve on this or something like that. All right, um, I will be having videos throughout um, all throughout the summer, like I said on my other videos. I'm I want to get um, giveaways in there. Once I get a few followers, I promise you I will have giveaways. And once again, check out Mr. iTouch. He does um, app reviews, like I said earlier. You guys should check him out. He's just getting started, so get over there, support him.